I was presented this opportunity through my friend Laura and I had no idea this expedition was happening and when she phoned me and said to me do you, would you like to be involved I jumped with both feet. I have always had a passion for wildlife and for animals and for giving back. I didn't know it was possible to be able to affect change. I didn't know how I've always wanted to. It's been a thought process like it seems so big, it seems so much bigger than I am and listening to how each one of these women started with just a thought and how they just took one tiny step and it's snowballed into this, all these beautiful organizations and these beautiful relationships and these connections and every single one of these women didn't know where it was leading and didn't know how it was going to happen and somehow it just blossomed. It's made me inspired to take my own small steps, giving me the courage and it's giving me the faith to know that I too can affect change and that mine might be tiny but if we all do tiny little steps together it all turns into one massive movement. Elephant Without Borders, these women they spend their lives just kind of researching making sure that they can facilitate a healthy movement between humans and wildlife and instead of fighting the process just casually slowly teaching the people that they can work with um, wildlife and work with the environment as opposed to against it and then stumbling upon this opportunity to have this baby elephant orphanage to assist with these poor elephants that have been abandoned by the human wildlife conflict and they didn't know with how they were going to do this. They just saw an opportunity, saw a need and took in one baby elephant then suddenly became three and now all of a sudden it is growing into this amazing beautiful concept. My recommendation for any female that would love to do a trip like this is to do it. Is not to think, don't overthink. When I first decided to do this trip and I told a few people, including my, my mum and other people, they all said, oh, be careful, it's Africa, you know, just be safe, like you never know what's going to happen. Don't think about it, just do it. Every single experience along the way is so much more fulfilling than the fear and the stress and the worry of the what if that's going to happen. For me, Getting here has opened up so many more doors and so many more thought patterns and I could not be more grateful for this experience.